know, you want to render an MMD video, do you? Well, have no fear, your friendly neighborhood jellyfish is here. I'm very sorry, that was absolutely awful. Remind me to never make jokes again. Anyway, we're going to be rendering an MMD video into an AVI file, and then we're going to be rendering it into a HD video. Now, most of the tips I'm going to be giving here are just my personal preference, so if you find a way that works better for you, feel free to use it. But this is just the way I render my videos. So, you finished your MMD video, huh? Well, first things first, go into View, and then Screen Size. Change the screen size to 1280 by 720. This just makes the whole process a little bit faster while still keeping a pretty damn decent quality. Now, once you've done that, go into File and Render to AVI. Choose what you're going to save it as, and then you'll get this. Make sure that the screen size is the one you just changed it to. 1280 by 720. Then, make sure it's 30 frames per second. Unless you're going for 60 frames per second, in which case, you're brave and I could never do that. But, you know, good for you. Then, make sure you have the correct number of frames that you want to record. So for me, it's 0 to 200. For you, it'll be, well, whatever you did. Now make sure that the box labeled Output Wave is ticked. That way you'll still have sound when your video is rendered. And finally, make sure that it is going to render to an AVI file by making sure it says AVI. Well, now you've rendered it. Now what? Go into Windows Live Movie Maker and open your AVI file. Give it a second just to load in the audio and everything. And once it's done that, go into Save Movie and select for High Definition Display. Save it as whatever you want and then you're good to go. Just a quick tip. If you put your video in some Movie Maker and it's laggy as hell, don't worry, it's supposed to be like that. It'll get fixed as soon as you render it into HD. If it doesn't, well, you're on your own with that one. Now you've rendered it into HD, it's ready to upload it to YouTube. Well, unless you're going to add text, in which case open it in whatever program you're going to use to add the text. So Movie Maker, After Effects, whatever. Once you're ready to upload, take it to YouTube, and well, I get the feeling you know what to do from there. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have any other problems with the advice that I've given in this video, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful. If you want me to make any other tutorials in the future, feel free to let me know. Anyway, this is Rhea Jellyfish, and I hope you all have a lovely day.